as you can see, they are extremely fast. They do do a carbon fiber version. To make it even lighter. Yes, yes make it lighter and faster. So this is a 200 meter version uh, with an aluminum frame, but the, the uh, carbon fiber version is 240 meters. <laughs> David, this machine's like lightning, incredibly quick. I mean, just tell our audience what it is and, and some of the, yeah, the, the configuration of it and how it's set up. Well, this is the MWR120 twin grant, uh, twin gantry, twin uh, turnover unit. Uh, we've got a stocker on the left-hand side, so we collect the parts from the left, load the first spindle, turn them around, load the second spindle, carry them over to the equator cell, measure the parts and update the offsets. Okay, so it's a complete, automa it's a complete automation cell, isn't it? Raw, raw part in, finished part out, yeah. measured and checked. That's right, completely unmanned. Now, it's really, really fast. I mean, how fast is it? The gantry is 200 meters a minute, and that's the slow one, but you do do a 240 as well. Okay, now what's the, I suppose the main aim is to make sure that these spindles are in cut as, as, as often as possible, isn't it? So your change, I mean, your changing speed is unbelievably fast as well. Yeah, well, we can load a part in seven seconds flat. And uh, obviously, what you, so you can keep up, the gantries can keep up with seven second cycle time if, if that's what's needed. And I'm looking at the spindles here, slightly different to what I normally see. They're, they're facing me as opposed to like a uh, together. Um, it's probably the right or the wrong way to describe it, but you'll see what I mean from the, from the video here. What's the advantage to that? And why, why is it laid out in this way? Who does it suit? Well, the advantage of that is the turnover can be done in cycle while you're still machining the other ops. So therefore, the transfer time is free. Okay, okay. And who would you be putting these machines into? I we mean, they've got to be long runs, isn't it? I mean, you know. Not necessarily. As long as the parts are family orientated, you can actually run two different parts on either spindle and have two turnover units, two stockers, basically two machines in one box. So you would configure this in accordance with the part that you're obviously making, which I suppose is a, is a sensible suggestion because that's what you do with most machine tools, but there's a lot of variations. That's right. Well, we look at the component, we look at the cycle time, and we look to balance all those operations out. If we feel that it needs another machine bolt into the end, we can have a shuttle unit on the other end. So if we had a 10 minute cycle time here and a five minute cycle time there, we may stick another spindle on the end and then have two fives split in op 10 into two and then have a five, uh, op 25 minutes on the other end. And um, your skill set, you, you, th this is you, isn't it? You know, this, this is, this me, is yeah. your responsibility, <laughs> these solutions. Uh, I mean, you'd sell these always with turnkeys, I guess, would you? Or not? Yeah, we, do, we like to offer the turnkey solution with it. Um, what we like to do is look at a, a component of a customer and decide that we're gonna bring all these operations together and balance them all out and give them a streamlined solution. As somebody told me uh, earlier on that you've got more of these machines in the automotive industry or more machines in the automotive sector than anybody. That, that, that That's true? That's true, especially in Europe. I mean, there's, there's rows, 15, eight of them and 18 in a line where you literally do one operation on each spindle. So you got a 10 minute cycle time, but then every 50 seconds apart, it comes out the other way. And that, I suppose they're chasing, they're chasing speed, aren't they? Oh, well, this know? is it, this is it. Yeah, I mean, how, how does that gantry move, by the way? What's the mechanism? Um, well, as you can see, they are extremely fast. They do do a carbon fiber version. To make it even lighter? Yes, yes make it lighter and faster. So this is a 200 meter version uh, with an aluminum frame, but the, the uh, carbon fiber version is 240 meters. And these machines don't, like you say, there are variations, but do, Muratech do machines where the spindles are configured differently and facing each other? We do. We do the MT series as well, which is opposing spindle, twin and uh, triple turret. So the conventional, as we call it. But then in, in specific cases, we like to offer parallel spindle because as you'll see around the show, nobody really offers this.